everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here my name is Sophie I film a lot of videos around lifestyle living in London and traveling so if that's the kind of thing that you enjoy watching don't forget to hit that subscribe button uh, so that you don't miss any of my future videos So for today's video, I'm just gonna be doing a get ready with me and showing you my everyday makeup. As you can see, I'm completely makeup free at the moment. I have straightened my hair, so that's kind of ready to go. Um, I'm just going out for dinner with some friends tonight. So I um, just thought I'd kind of film my everyday routine. Just wanna put a disclaimer out there that in no way am I um, a makeup professional, have no training whatsoever. So if anyone is actually like a makeup expert or guru here, then you're probably going to be judging me so badly um, and looking at my techniques as to like what is she doing but I've just kind of picked things up along the way um, and it's kind of nice and quick and simple so I thought I'd show you the products that I use and um, kind of how I put together my look. To be honest my everyday makeup isn't actually that different from my kind of full-on glam going out look and um, it's all very kind of similar I tend to just use a bit less highlighter and um, maybe switch out an eyeshadow or something like that. Don't forget to give this video a big like if you are enjoying it and leave a comment down below what you think of my um, makeup routine. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So I just want to say before we get started, I literally painted my own nails about half an hour ago and uh, this one has chipped already. All the others are looking pretty good and fresh, but that's annoying. We have to go and redo that. I was just using the Miley um, gel home kit, which I got and during the first lockdown so it's completely user error because actually their um, kits are really great but um, clearly yeah I, I mean I dropped something out of the cupboard and that's what we've ended up with. So let's get into the makeup. So my face is completely fresh face. I have got a bit of fake tan on um, but it's obviously a lot lighter on my face than it is on my body. My hands are definitely um, quite a bit darker. Um, I've just been using the Purity um, Face Mist from Saint Tropez and yeah it seems to be really effective at just kind of giving like a light glow. Um, so the first thing I do when I'm sort of prepping for my makeup is just prepare my skin and make sure that my skin is all treated nicely. As you can see at the moment I've got this really horrible spot that's um, just appeared and is very unwelcome on my face. My skin actually has been a lot better recently um, and I'll do a video kind of explaining the things I've been doing for that. Nothing like Rakutane or anything like that. Um, a lot simpler um, but it has really cleared it up. I've just had this one um, outbreak here which is not welcome at all. But yeah, the things that I find um, really effective for spots, I actually use this Epiderm um, cream and so I'm just gonna put a really small um, dab of that on the spot. Um, I don't think you can actually buy this in like the normal um, like boots or super drug or anything like so put that on. It is quite um, strong cream but it just seems to be really effective and then I always tend to just put it um, around my nose as well just to kind of help prevent any blackheads. Um, so yeah that's the first thing that I do. Um, I'm then gonna go in with the Effaclar Duo and this is the Unifiant one so it's like the tinted um, moisturiser and I've got this in the light shade um, obviously I'm quite pale um, so I'm just using like a really tiny amount um, I always just like to like pull it off to kind of drag it along like that I just think it looks nice um, I'm gonna put this all over my skin I think it just gives a nice kind of evening tone to um, start out with and also gives me a little bit um, of kind of colour on my face as well. Uh, so that's literally all I do to kind of prep my skin obviously apart from kind of cleaning it um, and all of that. Um, so I'll just let that settle in for a little bit. I've got myself just a Fanta Zero here um, while I'm getting ready. Um, I, I'm not actually drinking at the moment, not for any really particular reason, just to kind of be a bit healthier. Um, I've got a holiday coming up in a couple of months and I just want to feel really good for that. So I'm trying to not really drink 
and um, before that I can avoid it and um, my actual favourite um, alcoholic drink is usually um, Ray and Nephew and Fanta Zero if you've not tried that guys it is the best drink ever it's just it tastes beautiful um, so I've just got a Fanta Zero without the Ray and Nephew um, and it's not the same but it's you know a decent substitute and I put it in a big gin glass um, just so it feels a bit more bougie I thought I'd also just show you guys the makeup bag that I use. Um, I will do a what's in my makeup bag video for you guys. Um, but just to show you quickly, I'm using this Radley um, makeup bag and it's got like the dog print on. This makeup bag must be so old now. I think I got it as a Christmas present back in maybe like 2014. Um, and it doesn't really fit everything in. I've still got like a couple of products over to the side. But to be honest, it does the job. And um, yeah, I don't really see the point in paying for a new one at the moment. So I'm very happy to just continue um, using that one as it is. Oh, actually, there's one thing that I did forget um, to mention that I'm using as part of my skincare, and that is the Vichy Mineral 89 um, for eyes. I did actually mention this in my April favourites, which I'll link to um, up above. So this is quite a new product for me, and I'm using it like twice a day. Um, so I'm just putting like a really tiny um, dab of that under my eyes and kind of around the, the contour area. Um, I probably should have put this on before the tinted moisturizer but never mind i'm still getting used to using this so um we live and we learn okay yeah so while that's settling in i'm just gonna we can find it. i'm just gonna go in and try and correct some of the color um on my skin where i've got the kind of spots and acne um so the thing i'm going to use for that is just the naked skin um color correcting uh fluid and obviously it's and this is the shade green um the green's really good for color correcting any kind of redness and red areas so i just put a few kind of dots on and then um, i'm just going to go in with my finger actually for this step um because i don't want to get any of my other brushes and sponges um kind of tinged with the green um obviously right now it's uh looking a bit strange but you can kind of see it does definitely correct the color so i really like that i'd recommend that product definitely um and then the next thing that i'm gonna go in with and use is a primer so the primer that i've been loving is this one it's the charlotte tilbury wonder glow as you can see i'm like basically run out of it so i definitely need to get some more of this but i love this it's absolutely lovely it's so lightweight to put on your skin um it gives you a really nice kind of glowy dewy effect as well and um yeah couldn't really fault it to be honest obviously it is expensive um but i think i've had this one since i think i got it for christmas in 2019 so obviously yes I didn't use it at all really throughout the pandemic um it wasn't going anywhere but that said i think it has lasted quite a long time because again it's one of those products where it is pricey but you don't actually need to use that much of it so i'm literally at the point where it's completely running out so oh yeah there we go so yeah managed to get a little bit out i'm definitely gonna have to replace that um shortly which is um fine but it's also a bit annoying does anyone else find that like all their toiletries all their makeup seem to run out at exactly the same time and so you have some months where like you don't need to buy any new makeup or you might just you know buy yourself something as a bit of a treat and then before you know it everything runs out in the same paycheck and yeah it just ends up being really expensive um that's definitely happened to me this month so yeah i did mention that in my boots haul that i did recently i had to buy loads of stuff because everything just completely ran out um but yeah so i don't know how well you can see on camera but yeah it does give like a really nice glowy kind of base on which to um 
you know, start the rest of the makeup look. So the next thing that I'm gonna go in with and put on my face is the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. I feel like this is just such a classic foundation. And um, I've got this in the shade 2M. Um, I used to use the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation, which I think they've now discontinued. Um, but I loved that one, but I decided actually it was just a bit too expensive for using kind of every day. So um, I just use this L'Oreal one now. And to be honest, like the shade is pretty similar to the one that I used. And I think it gets a really similar effect. So actually for like a third of the price, I think it's definitely worth it. And then you can kind of treat yourself to nice little bits. Um, so I tend to use two pumps of this on my face and then I'm just going to go in with my beauty blender um, and yeah apply this to my face all over yeah so I've recently just switched over to using a sponge again because um, I was using a brush um, but then everyone that I saw online was using a sponge so I thought actually that's probably um, what I should try um, again and I guess it is slightly less hygienic in some ways if you're not cleaning it regularly but I definitely clean this a lot so I'm not really concerned about it and I just think actually it gives a much smoother finish because um, you get doing any of the brush strokes and stuff and it's just a lot easier to kind of blend onto your face um, so yeah I'm really enjoying this definitely need to get a darker shade of foundation for when I am tanned within the summer and on holidays and things because at the moment this is looking a little bit light um but it'll be fine we'll sort it all out but yeah let me know down in the comments below um whether you use a brush or a sponge for your makeup which do you prefer It's funny as well because on the camera this looks so much lighter than it does in real life. So um, yeah, it definitely blends in a bit better in real life, I think. But uh, there we are. All oh, right, so that is the like really basic base that I go in with. The next thing I'm going to do, which maybe this is the right order, maybe it's not, I don't know. So I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay Naked. Um, I'm using the Ultimate Basics palette. Um, for this one um, just to put on kind of some base um, eyeshadow. I think I'm probably going to use some other products um, to go for like a more sparkly eye um, but yeah let's just put this on as a base. Makeup I find as well, well eyeshadow sorry in particular is like the one step that I just really don't feel like I do very well which like you can probably see right now um i just kind of apply it on over the main lid i don't do any like cut creases or anything like that anything fancy i literally just kind of apply it to my lid and hope for the best and try and kind of blend it out a little bit um I me mean, yeah, i don't even know what technique you'd call this. I really like all the Urban Decay eyeshadows. They're really nicely pigmented. Um, I've actually got a few of them. I think I've got like pretty much all the Naked collection. I stopped getting them a couple of years ago because I realized I wasn't using them enough um, and I'd only really use like certain colors of them. So then I'm just gonna use the Real Techniques Deluxe, Deluxe Crease Brush um, to go in and just kind of blend it out a little bit, um, just so that it doesn't look like it's been completely slapped on. Yeah, that is looking a little bit better now. My eyes are definitely looking a bit more alive and like blue as my eyes are starting to come out and um, then the next thing i'm gonna go into again this probably isn't the right order for doing things in but this is just how i like to do it because there's certain bits that are just 
I just like to do it in this order to be honest, um, is my contour. So I'm using a powder contour. It's the Revolution Pro HD powder contour in light medium. I don't even know if they do this anymore because I think I got this back in like 2017, maybe 2018. And as you can see, there are three colors where I think I started off using the light one, then went on to the medium when that was running low and then went on to using the darker one. And sometimes I use this for my eyebrows as well if um, I've run out of eyebrow pencil. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it's running very low. So I definitely need to, um, yeah, get a replacement one. If anyone's got any recommendations for contour palettes, then leave let me know down below in the comments. Um, Cause yeah, I'm not sure they do this one anymore. And I'm thinking maybe I should actually go for a cream contour. Um, and then so then for this one, I'm going to use the Royal Technique Sculpting Brush. Um, yeah, all the brushes that I'm using are the Real Techniques ones. Um, so I'm gonna just use the darker shade here. I have got a bit of a tan on, so um, that is probably the best one to use, but equally, it's the one where there's a little bit more left of than the others. So that is literally um, the only reason for that. No other real preference, to be honest. And then this is where makeup experts everywhere are probably thinking, oh my gosh, what is she doing? So I literally, when I'm doing this, we'll just kind of put it under my chin like this so that it's kind of, you can't really see from this angle, but to help sculpt my chin. And then I'm just going back in with the same brush and I'm gonna, I kind of like pout so, so that I can see where my cheekbone should be. and then just kind of fill that gap with the contour. And then, okay, nothing even came off the brush there. So that's how you can see it's like you need replacing basically. It's another thing I'm gonna have to buy it along with the, the Wonder Glow. So it's becoming an expensive month. Yeah, and then I just put a little bit on my forehead as well. Um, yeah, and as I said at the beginning, like the technique that I've used there is probably not recommended, um, but that's what we're going with as well. Then I'm gonna go in with this um, Real Techniques buffing brush just to buff it out. I've always used powder um, contour because I've got oily skin, so I thought I didn't wanna add more creams, but actually um, I'm thinking maybe I should. I really want to try the um, Charlotte Tilbury contour one, but it seems to be so popular everywhere at the moment. It's like completely sold out. So just leave me here for a second while I buff out um, this contour and then I'll be back with you. Okay, so I'm back and I've now put my contour on. I feel like it's such a simple step, but it does make a bit of a difference. And I'm not even um, an expert at this at all. Like mine probably doesn't even look very good, especially because I'm running out of products completely. Um, but yeah, so that is now the contouring done. I don't do anything really with like applying like lighter concealer or anything like that to my face. I literally just um, use the, um, the contour shades to give my face a bit of definition and sculpting. Cool, so the next thing that I'm just gonna go in and do, having just said that, is um, I'm just gonna put some concealer under my eyes. I've got really conscious recently of them looking a bit dark and like, you can't really see on the camera, they look pretty decent. Obviously I've got a shade of foundation on um, there, but I'm just gonna dab a bit of this under my eyes like that um and then i think i'll just cover up some of these spots a little bit here as well the concealer that i'm using today is the l'oreal perfect match and i've got this in shade 2rc which is the um, rose vanilla shade um so it matches nicely with the um foundation that i'm using as well and then this time I'm gonna be using the Real Techniques concealer brush and I'm just gonna literally like put it, brush it out 
under my eye um, and then I'm going to kind of go around the bits where the um, eyeshadow base has spilled over a little bit as well just to neaten that up. Okay, fab. So that is like basically the kind of main base that I do. There is a couple more steps that I like to add into it, but I don't tend to like to add those in until the end when I've done kind of um, more of the makeup and kind of fully decided what look I'm going to go for. So the next thing that I'm going to go in and do is my um, eyebrows. I feel like once you've done your eyebrows, it is literally like a game changer it makes you look so much better i never used to do my eyebrows for ages i didn't realize how much more shape and definition it adds to your face i didn't even use anything fancy like a pomade or anything like that um so i am literally just going to be using the nyx professional makeup um precision brow and i've got this in the blonde shade which i think is like the the lightest shade um that they do um so it's got a spoolie on one end and then the um, kind of applicator pencil on the other end and um, so what I'm gonna do is just kind of brush my eyebrows up using the spoolie and then the same on the other side everyone always has the eyebrow that's like their favorite eyebrow don't they um, and for me this one here is my least favorite one it's just harder to shape and I don't like the natural shape of it as much also guys, fun fact about me, I've never been to get my eyebrows professionally threaded or waxed or anything like that. I've always just used um, like tweezers to do it myself at home, which some people are really, yeah, I can completely tell. Um, but yeah, I've just never really felt the need to and they tend to keep their shape quite well and I like the thickness of them. So, so yeah, now I'm just going to go in with this um, brow pencil just to kind of fill out my um, brows a little bit. For me as well, it's not so much like I want them to fill in but they are fairly full as it is um, it's just to kind of give them a bit more definition um, closer to my nose and because I've got such pale um, and light hair it's also just to kind of make them stand out a little bit because otherwise I feel like when I've got foundation on um, it just kind of blends in a bit and I almost look like I've got no eyebrows. Um, I have thought about getting them tinted professionally just so that nothing like microblading or anything, um, but just so that like naturally they look a bit more ready and like, I'm all for like ways that you can kind of save yourself time in the mornings. And if that's one of the, the ways that I can achieve that then yeah, I'm, I'm all ears. Let me know if you think that's something that I should try in the comments below. Um, so yeah, so I'm just filling them in at the moment. Um, they're definitely not gonna be perfect. Um, and again, there's gonna be like brow experts and stuff potentially watching this thinking, oh my gosh, what is this girl doing? Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments um, how you do your brows or if you've got any tips for um, how I can apply my brow pencil better or what I should be doing instead of um, this because I know it's not really um, the perfect brow look to be honest. Okay so they're not actually looking terrible right now they just look a bit blocky so the next thing I'm gonna go in and do is just with the spoolie again I'm just gonna um, brush them out again just so that they look a little bit more natural um, and yeah once I brushed these out that will literally be my brows done so I told you guys this is going to be simple and um, I didn't lie it definitely is a simple makeup look so that's that um, eyebrows done. We don't need that anymore. I'm um, just looking at my um, eyeshadow. I think I am gonna do something a bit more glam. Um, okay, so 
obviously 17 have just come back um, and they've kind of like rebranded and stuff but who remembers when they were around before and they did the shimmer bricks which were like bobby brown dupes but these cost like £2.99 I've still got one of the um, golden bronzer ones I use the golden bronzer one in the summer and um, when I've got a tan and then I use the the pink ones um in the winter and i want more of like a rosy kind of glow um but yeah i have one of the ones from before like the og um 17 collection and as you can see it's pretty well used and um, actually i quite like it as a eyeshadow as well and um, i tend to use the lighter two colors for eyeshadow rather than the darker ones and then for the um bronzer i'll just kind of go in and sort of um, sweep through all of them and um, so I'm using my deluxe crease brush again just because that's the one that I've got out um, and I'm gonna go in just with like a mix of these two colors and just put it onto my um, eyelid um, I never actually used bronzer as an eyeshadow before but then I saw Sophia and Chinzia doing it um, on their channel and it obviously looks so good so I thought I'm gonna try it myself um, obviously you know in no way expecting the same results at all um but yeah i thought it was quite a good hack as well and i think it also like um it's quite a nice look because it it looks you know put together but sometimes like with especially like the urban decay um eyeshadows they're so pigmented which is amazing and fab if you're on like a really you know glam night out but if you just want to make this kind of a bit more than like plain makeup but equally like you know nothing too out there and fancy and sparkly and um, it just gives you a bit of a glow it's a really good kind of in between so that's my hack if you've not um, seen that one before um so i'm just going to leave that as it is i think that's fine i've got this palette out as well i'm just going to go in and use my bronzer so surprise for switching it up this one is not a real techniques brush this is just the eco tools um bronzer brush so i'm just gonna as i mentioned before just kind of go all down the shimmer brick i'm not sure if they've um included this in their new range at all um i have to have a look and let you guys know if they have because it's a really nice product um so yes i kind of use use the brush up and down in that palette and then just apply it um kind of above where i was doing the bronzer before um and then a little bit on the tip of my nose as well um i've definitely put a bit too much on my nose there but that's fine we can go in and correct it so i've just got my buffing brush out again and i'm just gonna kind of brush some of that off my nose um just to correct it because it did look a little bit too shiny there um, i'm heavy handed with makeup that is for sure um so i definitely need more practice even though i'm like 30 now um and also yeah what have i done with that bronzer like we cannot leave that line up, that like that it looks like you know when people do this like tricking their boyfriend with their makeup um okay so let's blend that out a bit as well i guess it's you know there's always a way to correct your makeup if it goes a bit wrong Okay, so that is looking a lot better now. Um, and the nose is still a little bit shiny, but it's fine, we can live with that. And yeah, we can correct that still, there's still time. Okay, the final thing that I'm gonna do in terms of skin is I've got another um, beauty sponge here, and then I've got my Laura Mercier um, translucent loose setting powder. So I'm just gonna go in and put this on my T-zone and my under eye area and also on the end of my nose um, to correct the shine there. So I'm just gonna put some of it, um, it comes out loose in the um, pot guys, so even though there's like little holes, it does quite a lot of it does come out. So I've just put a little bit um, in the lid and then I'm just gonna kind of saturate the sponge here and then um, just kind of put it over my T-zone area here. Um, I've mentioned before that I have really quite oily skin so I get 
quite a shiny forehead and this stuff just has absolutely no flashback as you can see and yeah eliminates any shine and it kind of stays like that all day and night which is brilliant and then I just go in and do the same under my eyes I guess I don't know if this would even count as like a form of baking it but I'm just gonna um, put it on and then yeah leave it because it's blended in so that is my skin base completely done as you can see it doesn't take me very long at all and it would be like quicker if i wasn't filming it as well um so it is very nice and simple um so the next couple of steps um for me is um mascara i feel like mascara literally like transforms my face like i don't feel complete unless i've got mascara on and the one i'm using at the moment is the lash paradise um from l'oreal and that's just in black this is an amazing dupe for the Too Faced better than sex foundation and it's like half the price and yeah works just as well so that is a great drugstore alternative like don't get me wrong i love the luxury brands but if you can find um a high street one that does the same thing then you know, why would you not if you can save yourself some money especially at the moment and um, so i'm just gonna put that on my lashes put it on my top lashes and it always transfers onto the lower lashes um that which is probably again me being a bit heavy-handed I don't know about you, but I find it so hard to like talk or do anything while I've got, I'm trying to apply mascara and getting it in the corner lashes is so difficult to do. Okay, so I've just done one eyelid that I obviously need to like tidy up the lower lashes but as you can see it's quite like a full mascara look which I really like like I don't wear um fake lashes or anything like that personally um they're not a look that I particularly like and I don't really want all of that around my eyes I've had a lot of issues with my eyes in the past so I just kind of want to um keep things natural in that sense um although she says that and then puts loads of mascara on them um but yeah this one's a really nice one if you want quite like a full kind of almost like false lash effect without using um the fake lashes so i'm just gonna quickly do the other eye now So that is my eyelashes done and literally I feel like it transforms my face. Like I don't feel like me without mascara on when I'm doing my makeup. Like don't get me wrong, if I haven't got makeup on I feel absolutely fine without it on. But as soon as I start putting makeup on it's not complete until the eye makeup is done and the lashes. Finally we're just gonna do my lips. Like no makeup is complete without lips as well but I used to not think this I used to just not um put anything on my lips but today this is like my go-to as well you can see how much I've used the um pencil we're going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury lip cheat and this is in pillow talk of course everyone uses this shade for Charlotte Tilbury um it's like the perfect nude so again don't judge me on how I'm doing this but this is how I line my lips I don't overline them or anything. Well, that's not looking great in the middle, is it? Um, okay, we'll correct that in a second. But yeah, as I was saying, I don't overline my lips or anything. So I think actually I'm quite lucky that my lips are fairly kind of decent size as they are. So I've never really kind of felt the need to and I don't want them to look too big um to be honest it's personally not my um preference so i think i need to correct this a little bit but let's just put the lipstick on it and then see where we're at so for the lipstick as well i'm sure you can guess what i'm going to use it's the charlotte tilbury pillow talk lipstick it's just such a beautiful bottle and it's just such a lovely shade as well i feel like it's perfect for any occasion and it just glides on it's so soft 
Um. But yeah, I feel like it's the perfect shade for like whatever you're doing. Like it's wintry, it can be summery. It's literally ideal for anything. Um, I'm just gonna go and get my concealer again just to cover up the bow area where I've gone over a little bit unexpectedly. I've actually not tried any of the other Charlotte Tilbury um, lipsticks or anything. So if there's any other shades that you think I'd like, let me know in the comments down below and I'll check them out. I can always do a review for you guys as well. Okay, so that is looking a lot better. I think as well, just because I'm going out, um, I'm actually gonna put some gloss on over the top and kind of like combine the colors a little bit. And so the gloss that I'm gonna be using is the NYX Butter Gloss. Um, it's a really nice kind of like pink fun shade, but not too out there. Um, and this is in the shade Creme Brulee. my finished makeup look um i'm just gonna go and get changed and then i'll be ready to go as you can see my hair is all straightened i probably will do something else with that but i'm not gonna include that in this video um so i just need to go get changed and then i'll be ready i really hope you've enjoyed this video and seeing how i do my makeup if you have then don't forget to give it a big like and subscribe to my channel for future content. Um, I really hope you've enjoyed it and thanks again for watching and I'll see you again very soon for another video.